Hello there, carpologists. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of Crafty Catcher's retro range. More specifically, I'm going to be using the King Pro, and I have been using it on my last couple of sessions. I'm towards the end of this session, and I can tell you it's been successful. But quickly, talk about the retro range itself. Crafty Catcher has been around for many, many years. I just had one of the old bailiffs come around. I hope he doesn't watch this and hear me referring to him as older, but he saw Crafty Catcher and said himself, those have been around for donkey's years. So the retro range, absolute screamer on the other bike, which is basically rekindling some of the most popular and prolific baits that they created. One of which being the King Pro. Now I went out on Wednesday, a few days ago, I put sheer water and used some of the wafters as bottom baits. I was just cast them out as singles to start with and instantly I was getting bites, so already it was working. On this session, once again, I've been flicking them out putting some of the boilies around it and I've also been topping it up with some of the King Prawn Glug and just give it that extra bit of attraction and again bite after bite after bite. So they really are enjoying it. It really doesn't take long to get a bite either. Some of the rods I was putting in and within minutes it was going off and if it went a bit quiet I'd recast, reintroduce a few more boilies and it wouldn't be long until it was off once again. So for the hook baits I was simply using some of their wafters which is an absolutely perfect critically balanced bait for just a size six hook and I was using a bait screw and it just sat absolutely perfect. So the hook was flat but it just wafted perfectly above it. So nothing else needed doing to it. Sometimes you can get wafters which can be either slightly too buoyant or not buoyant enough but these were absolutely spot on. I've also been doing quite a bit of surface fishing today but to make a slick and to boost the uh, floaters a bit more I was using the bait glug. So not only have I put that on these bag of boilies and let it soak in for a while, that just helped to slick up the surface bring in some more attraction and the fish have been absolutely loving it. I'm going to stick the rods back out because I think there's still one or two more fish to be added. There we go, one more to finish the day. For more information on all of the retro range, visit the Crafty Catcher website. I've been using the King Prawn today and uh, it's certainly proven that it still works. This one's getting a bit wriggly, it's time to put it back. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>